yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Um, it's been a probably long enough process, but um, you know, I'm just delighted to be here, and I can't wait to get going. And what was it that really sold Glenn Torn to you and signing for the club? What what got you to this point? Um, just the ambition the club had. Um, you know, after speaking to you know Mick and Paul, um, they told me about the plans that they wanted to do, and um, you know, it's something I want to be a part of. Um, you know, I played here I think about ten years ago, and then played against them sort of at Balmain a few times, but. Um, they were, you know, it was a hard team to play against, and they were a good side. And um, they want to think that it can um, hopefully, um, you know, get in the team and, um, you know, contribute to. And Irish League fans will have seen you, of course, last year with Balham United. But you've played over two hundred games in England, and you've got Northern Ireland caps as well. Just give us a wee insight into your career. Um, yeah, I started off at Burnley. Um, was there for three years, and then. Um, End up getting released from there and signed for Accrington. And then I was at Accrington for four or five years, I think. And then um, and then Bradford bought me and uh, moved to Bradford for signed a three year deal there. And then the second year went alone to Lincoln. Um, ended up, we won League Two there. So um, yeah, that was good. And then went back to Bradford and then um, sort of Covid hit. And um, you know, with everything was up in the air. You know, clubs, clubs didn't know what they were doing. And I ended up coming home. In March time, I think it was, and I started off. Um, you know, my dad was sort of sick of me lying about the house or playing golf and things like that there, so he made me come into the quarry and uh, made me start off working there. And um, you know, enjoyed it. Uh, it, was, it was a different sort of lifestyle than I was used to. I was, um, you know, working from seven till five and things like that there. And probably in England, you, the hardest thing is trying to fill the time. Um, you know, your time off and things like that there. Because uh, really, you only work until twelve or one o'clock, and then your 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 days, you know, you try and fill it as best you can. And um, I found that you know I was happier when I was just you know I had something to do, and my head was filled. Um, so yes, yeah, then I signed for Balamina, um, and then had a, a season there and loved it. And then um, obviously now I'm, now I'm here at Glendorn. And coming home to the Irish League, it's a really competitive league, as we all know, but. Somebody with your experience over in England, how, how have you found it coming back across? Yeah, it's uh, it's a good standard and things like that there. Um, there's some good players in the Irish League. Um, I've enjoyed it. Um, I haven't been able to witness the sort of fans. I've had I don't know, a maximum amount is maybe five, six hundred at Ballymena. You know, I never, never got to experience a full house at Ballymena. I've not experienced a full house at any ground in the Irish League. I think the best I've had was at Dungannon. I can't remember how many was there. It was before Christmas. Um, so I'm just looking forward to getting here and getting started and uh, hopefully playing in front of a good crowd. And you've been at the Oval today, you've got a chance to sort of see about and even get out onto the pitch with the Glen Torn shirt on. What's sort of your thoughts been of the Oval so far? Yeah, it's brilliant. As I said, I played here 10 years ago, I think, for the under-19s. Um, it's a, you know, it's a probably iconic kind of ground, you know, it sort of looks a lot different to you know, other grounds, there's not many like it left. Um, you know, I always drove past it and went away back to England. You know, going to the airport and things like that there. Um, so it's it's a it's a good ground and um, it's one I'm looking forward to playing in front of. And the fans as well, they'll obviously be really excited with this sign. Have you got any message for them? What they can expect from you? No, not really. No, just um, I'll try my best and hopefully you know score a few goals and create things. And um, as I said, I'll I'll work hard and um, I'm just delighted to be here and um, hopefully I'll have a good time.